This is the secret place. Absolutely nobody here. One local guy on this road. No, that is no loco. Loco! <laughs> What's up guys? What's up cycling fanatics? Daisy, the baby and me are on a holiday and we're staying in this awesome hotel. It's called Petit Hotel Alaro. Right now we're gonna go on a little ride. Well, not a little ride. We're gonna go on a nice decent endurance ride. Mauro, the host of the hotel, is gonna take me along a nice trip. So we're going out for a ride. Later Daisy's gonna chill out at the pool here at this uh, really cool little place they have behind the hotel. Vamos! Vamos! Alaro is this super small little village right next to the mountains, pretty much in the center of the island. So, great place to stay if you want to uh, ride your bike. The hotel was previously a house, so it's super cozy with uh, there's like a living room, they have a kitchen if you want to make some food. Awesome! We're gonna be riding for roughly, I don't know, three, four hours across the center of Mallorca. It's pretty windy today, so we're gonna see if we can try to avoid these winds on these smaller roads that the island has. Today, the view is amazing. The sky is super clear, so it's gonna be a good day. Riding towards the north, and on our left side is the big mountain ridge. Been there a lot on the last trip to Mallorca, but we're going the other way. We're gonna go to the east side of the island. There's another little hill that we're gonna climb up. Is it, what's the name? Randa. Randa. People know it. People will know it because it's very famous. I'm gonna show you guys. One hour into the ride, Mauro is taking me on all these little back roads, tiny little streets zigzagging across the island. Pretty awesome to see a different side of the island. Currently, we're on this little secret road, which is not going to be secret anymore after I publish the video. But... Ah, that's the secret. Stopping for a picture. Right here, they're still picking grapes. I thought grape season was uh, over, but uh, Tramontana Mountains with Alaro right there. We're passing uh, sort of a forest area here and it's a couple kilometers towards the climb. place absolutely nobody here if you come here give it a try local guy one local guy on this road loco <laughs> loco or local so the other road is this one but we didn't take it we went on the little back street through the forest super awesome now we're gonna go up the climb to the radar dome it's a way to the left okay. and then start the climb. Okay. Yeah, me, I, if they take my time, they climb. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go really fast, but we'll just... No, 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 you will see. If you, sometimes you you want to go, Yeah. Go. it's free. So the climb starts here, it's 4.4 kilometers all the way to the top. And the road is gonna go around the hill. So along the way, we'll have a 360 view of the entire island. That's pretty cool. Mauro is on my tail, doing well. <laughs>
Top of the hill, about 15 minutes, pretty cool. And top there's a sea view. Nice climb. Yeah, it's really good. This is the view. Time for a little break. Grab a cup of coffee. As you can see, there's a lot of bicycles. Hey! The bag is located! Daisy just picked it up at the airport. Super. Later. Okay, perfect coffee break. Halfway the ride. Now we're gonna go back to Alaro. It's gonna be another about two hours. We have time. <laughs> That descent was a little bit sketchy. You couldn't really look around the corner, so take it easy on that downhill. Right now, we're facing a pretty strong crosswind. Mauro is just drafting. We're gonna make our way across the island back to Alaro. Woo! Strong wind. So as we're riding back towards the hotel, we've got this great view of the Tramuntana Mountains. And there's this really distinct place with vertical cliffs. Right in between the rocks where the canyon ends, that's where the little town of Alaro is. And that's where the hotel is. So anywhere on the island, if you need to come back to the hotel, that's where you need to go. The airport of Beni Salem. I think it's a bit too small for us to land uh, the 747 here, but uh, for a little uh, ultralight aircraft, it's pretty cool. For dessert, Mauro sent us on a little detour up this little climb. Talking about dessert, let's get some ice cream. Cheers. Cheers. The post ride recovery drink. Local beer, specially brewed by Mauro himself. Hello. Are you okay, Aisha? Yeah. Hello. Uh, You're good at everything. Cooking, cycling, relaxing babies. <laughs> Perfect host for us to have a, a nice holiday. Muchas gracias for the ride today. And I'll see you tomorrow at breakfast. Of course. This hotel is actually the only one in, the, in this area that has a parking garage. out the view from our bathroom. Uh. All right, all fresh and clean. I'm doing my cycling kit laundry in the bathtub, getting everything ready for the next ride. And for the rest, our room is really, really big. Closet for uh, clothing storage. This is the room. It's a big mess right now, but baby bed. 
that's our suitcase that arrived today, four days late. Air conditioning, the whole shebang. Uh, let me get dressed first. Uh oh, duty calls. Hey, baby. Our suitcase has finally arrived today, so that's good news. We both have our swim shorts and bikinis. So tomorrow is gonna be a beach day, no cycling. Afterwards, I'm gonna do some more riding from Palma. So make sure you check out the rest of the videos, hit the subscribe button, and I'm gonna see you next time. See ya! Tomorrow. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Good morning, the morning. The I'm, cook. I'm tired. I have the legs like... <laughs>